Good morning students, in this video we will learn how can we select adjacent rows or columns in a given worksheet of Microsoft Excel 2010. As you know students, before copying, moving, inserting or deleting data which is available in worksheet, we first select it. Now we are going to learn how can we select adjacent column. For that, we first selecting a column. That is, I am going to select a uh, column E. For that, we are I am clicking its heading. Left mouse click. Now it is selected. And students, you know what is the meaning of uh, adjacent? Actually, students, meaning of adjacent is situated next to or close to something. That means all the columns are close to this selected column. And these columns are also close to the selected column. So we can say the columns which are in the right side of the given column are its adjacent column, and the left side, the columns which are close to the selected columns are adjacent column. So we can select this by simply when we have to select the columns which are in the right side of the column by simply press shift plus right arrow key now i am using shift plus right arrow key now you can see as i am pressing the selection is increasing so selection of increasing in columns now i am deselecting it how can we deselect it by simply click anywhere in the cell left mouse click ok students I have deselected again I am selecting the same one and now I am going to select the columns which are available in the left side of the selected column for that we I am going to use uh, this uh, uh, keys a combination of keys shift plus left arrow key now I am using this one shift plus left arrow key as I am pressing, you can see selection is increasing in the columns. By this simple method, we can select the number of uh, adjacent column, either it is in the right side or in or in the left side. And after I'm, I've deselected it. Okay. Now, students, I am going to select the rows. Okay, students. For that, I am going in the seat number 4. Now, here you can see, uh, same as I am selecting uh, row, that is uh, row number 5. Left mouse click on its heading. Uh, now, you can see all the rows above are its adjacent, uh, which are very close to this one uh, or next to this one. And rows below are also its adjacent rows, which are next to the uh, row ok students now I am going to select the rows above for that uh, I am using here you can see shift plus up arrow key has been given so I am using this one shift plus up arrow key I am using and as I am pressing you can see that all the rows are selected one by one ok students now I am deselecting this one by left mouse click and again I am selecting the uh, row and now I am going to select the column uh, sorry rows which are uh, rows below the selected row so I am using shift plus down arrow key as I am pressing the key you can see my selection of uh, rows are increasing that is rows below below uh, of the give, uh, selected row ok students by this simple way we can I am select, uh, deselecting first by this simple way students we can select adjacent rows and adjacent columns so first we will have to understand what is the meaning of adjacent adjacent is situated next to 
or close to the something that means as we are selecting uh, first column or rows that next one is its adjacent as we are pressing the number of adjacent rows or columns are increasing okay students either it is in the left side or in the right side for the column and for rows that is above or below okay students uh, this video is over here